And we're back. Are you ready for our next lesson? Our next lesson is solving problem involving average rate and speed. Again, this is Teacher Darwin Ignacio, your presenter. So, understanding average speed. So, let us uh, study the problem. A couple is planning for a road trip if they drive 118 kilometer from 3 hours from Manila to Tarlac City and 105.65 km for 3.5 hours from Tarlac City to Baguio, what is their average speed? So, what is ask? The average speed of the travel. So, what are the given facts? So, we have 118 kilometers for 3 hours from Manila to Tarlac and 105.65 kilometers for 3.5 hours from Tarlac City to Baguio. So, what operations shall we use to solve the problem? You can select your own strategy. Okay, to answer. Why the term average speed? Why not just speed? Okay, so speed is the measurement of the distance traveled per unit time taken at any given time while average speed is the total distance divided by total time to cover the said distance. The problem, let us find the sum of the two distances traveled. So 118 plus 105.65 is equal to 223.65 so let us find also the sum of the time spent in traveling so we have 3 hours plus 3.5 hours is equal to 6.5 hours and that would give our formula average speed is equal to distance divided by time Now, average speed is equal to distance divided by time. So, following the formula, we have 223.65 divided by 6.5, which gives us the answer 34.41 kilometers per hour. To check if your answer is correct, multiply the average speed by the total time to get the combined distance. Go to our uh, next problem. John drove for 3 hours at a rate of 50 miles per hour and for 2 hours at 60 miles per hour. What was his average speed for the whole journey? Okay, so to answer the problem, what is ask? So the average speed for the whole journey. What are the given facts? So the given facts are 
So we have 3 hours at a rate of 50 miles and 2 hours at a rate of 60 miles. Remember those facts. Okay, now what operation shall we use to solve the problem? Now, you can use or select your own strategy. Let us analyze the problem by following these steps. The first one is the formula for distance is distance is equal to rate times time. So let us get the total distance. We, we have 50 times 3 plus 60 times 2 and we got the answer 270. How about the total time? So we have 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Our formula for this problem is average speed is equal to distance divided by time. So we have 270 divided by 5 and we got 54 miles per hour. To check if your answer is correct, multiply the average speed by the total time to get the combined distance. So next problem, Kendra can walk 40 dogs in 8 hours. How many dogs can Kendra walk in 12 hours? what is asked in the problem so we are trying to find the number of dogs Kendra can walk in 12 hours so what are the given facts can you tell me the given facts on the problem Okay, so the given facts on the problems are 40 dogs in 8 hours and 12 hours. So we are trying to find the number of dogs Kendra can walk in 12 hours. Let us first analyze the problem by following this step. Step 1. First, let's find out how many dogs she can walk in every hour. So we should divide both sides, 8 and 40 by 8. So 8 divided by 8 is 1 and 40 divided by 8 is 50. So in 1 hour, we get 5 dogs. So this time, we need to find out how many dogs can she walk for 12 hours. So, we are going to multiply 1 by 12, which gives us 12, and 5 multiplied by 12 gives us 60. Take note that the number of R increases, so the number of dogs must increase also. Multiplication process is used to increase the number of dogs since the number of R's increase by 12 also. So the answer is for every 12 R, she can walk 60 dogs. Did you get the answer? Very good. So remember, average speed is a measure of the distance traveled 
in a given period of time. It is sometimes referred to as the ratio of distance and time. Congratulations, children! I know you have learned a lot today. What about a round of applause for the work well done? Continue answering the remaining items in your activity sheets on page 16. To be checked next meeting, keep up the good works, attend, listen, I hope you have learned a lot today. I am Darwin A. Ignacio, your grade 6 mathematics teacher. Until next time!